Hi, I'm Grant. And I'm Kathy. Welcome back to our Change How You Think weekly video podcast. If you'd like to hear from us every week, then subscribe to our video by clicking on the weekly video tab at the top of this page. Fill in the subscription form and you'll get our free ebook, Healthy Moods. Every day now, we're hearing from experts, scientists, physicians, politicians, and journalists. They are all giving opinions because this pandemic is unprecedented. But they are giving us educated guesses. It's the best they can do. But there's only one voice who knows exactly what's going on, who is completely reliable, and who we need to be listening to. And that's the voice of Jesus. With all the confusion and fear over the pandemic, we thought it was time we talked to Jesus about it. But that means we have to be able to hear and recognize him speaking to us. If you're like us, we never knew how to hear from God directly for ourselves. No one ever taught us how to do it. That's why we created the God Speaks course in our Free Your Mind program. We want every Christian to be able to hear from God for themselves. So we thought it would be helpful this week to play an excerpt of one of the lessons in that course, explaining why you were able to hear from God. We hope you find it helpful. So here it is. Welcome to lesson two of God Speaks. In the last lesson, you learn God speaks to us from within our spirits, where the Holy Spirit dwells. Grant also explained his journey to learn how to hear God's voice and the difference it's made in his life. In this lesson, we're going to discuss the many ways that God speaks to us. So why can we expect God to speak to us? Humans are a unique species. We're the only ones who live in both the natural world and the spiritual world at the same time. Our five senses are designed to connect us to the natural world, and our spirit is designed to connect us to the supernatural world. You have no choice about connecting to the natural world, but you do have a choice to be aware of and connected to the spiritual world. Most people, though, choose to live at the natural world level only and deny the reality of the invisible world. If you're a Christian, then you must accept the reality of the spiritual world. The Bible says that the spiritual world is more real than the visible one. The spiritual world is eternal, the natural is temporary. What your spirit senses is as important as what your mind thinks, and we need to combine both viewpoints. God gave you a spirit so that you could have a relationship with Him. Your spirit is designed to hear His voice. When you become a Christian, the Holy Spirit came to live in you. And from His home inside of you, He talks to you and you can hear Him in your spirit. So you can stop thinking that God is far away and hard to hear. He is as close as your spirit. Hearing from Him is a local call. Don't let your limited expectations hang up the phone on God. So why do you think God gave us the ability to speak with language? Well, it's part of being made in God's image. He speaks, so he gave us the ability to speak. He gave us language, spiritual ears, and the indwelling Holy Spirit because he wants to be in conversation with us. We were designed to be in an ongoing conversational relationship with God. There are so many scriptures that confirm this. In John chapter 15, verse 15, Jesus said, I no longer call you servants because a servant does not know his master's business. Instead, I have called you friends for everything that I learned from my father, I have made known to you. God wants to have a friendship relationship with us. All friendships involve two-way communication. Jesus wants us to pray and then to listen to his response. We don't have to try to convince God to talk with us. He wants to and he does. He wants to pour his love into us and enjoy our love in return. We are God's sons and daughters, so you were born with the ability to hear your father's voice. In the book of John, chapter 10, verse 27, it says, My sheep listen to my voice. I know them and they follow me. And in John chapter 8 verse 47 it says, Whoever belongs to God hears what God says. You are his sheep, you belong to him, so you can hear and recognize his voice. It's that simple. Your role is to continue the dialogue. Matthew 4 and 4 says, Man shall not live on bread alone, 
but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. So that means he is speaking to us on an ongoing basis throughout our lives and we are able to hear him. In John chapter 14, verse 23, Jesus replied, Anyone who loves me will obey my teaching. My Father will love them and we will come to them and make our home with them. If Jesus is going to be that close to us, I'm sure he'll be speaking as well. I think the most helpful verse is 1 Corinthians 2.16 that says, We have the mind of Christ. That means that the Holy Spirit will tell us what Jesus is thinking. If you share his mind, then you will hear his voice. Jesus had a close, personal, two-way relationship with God the Father, and he did this as a man, not as a God. He came to demonstrate this new relationship with God that is now available to all of us believers. We can have the same close, conversational relationship with God that Jesus had. So you can hear from God. You just need to listen for his thoughts entering your mind. The best time to do this is during your quiet time with God. Just ask him what he wants you to know about the pandemic or anything else. With practice, it will get easier to recognize his thoughts amongst all the other thoughts competing for your attention. If you'd like to learn more about how to hear God's voice and ways to get through the pandemic victoriously, why don't you join us in the Free Your Mind program? It's our step-by-step -step online video guide to taking back control of your internal world. Just click the link below this video to subscribe. We'll talk to you again next week, but this week, practice listening to Jesus more than the news.